Okay, here we are, all season adventures, and this all season ready for some uh, predictions again. And tonight, oh, we jumped the gun here a bit. There we go. Tonight we got Elimination Chamber. So uh, I'm kind of looking forward to it. I'm looking. I like any niche wrestling things like Real Rumbles, and this here you got this big cage with people coming in every five minutes. Five minutes of it. Yeah. So I think it'll be an interesting one. Hopefully. I I'm excited for it. Yeah, just because it is something different. And you only see it once a year. Exactly. You know, a cage match, a Hell in a the Cell, they can throw that in as a stipulation any time. But this is pretty wicked. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, no particular well, order that I kind of think it might happen. But without further ado, let's get going. I kind of think the first match is going to be uh, this one here where you got Drew McIntyre, champion, defending against Sheamus, AJ Styles, Randy Orton, Kofi Kingston. And uh, Jeff Hardy in the first match. Personally, I think they're gonna kick this one off because I think it's kind of. I think Drew McIntyre is gonna win it. I could be wrong, but I'm going with Drew McIntyre. I think he's the obvious choice. He's gonna look strong by the end of this one. So I'm in agreement, and we know that Sheamus is the last one to come in. So I think it's gonna come down to Sheamus and Drew McIntyre so that they can have their little feud because Sheamus was supposed to have his one-on-one -on -one match. So I think that it's going to just start something there. So I think Drew's still going to retain. And next, what I think we might have is this. I don't understand it at all. Uh, you have Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler, your, your tag team champions, going against uh, Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair. While well, you have Raw has had a tournament for number one contendership between uh, Lana and Naomi. Yeah, so they're number one contender. And then... Uh, AEW, not NXT. AEW, NXT just had, just pulled a JR there. Yeah. <laughs> NXT just had a tournament that made uh, Gonzalez and uh, Dakota, Dakota Kai. Kai number one contender. So you got number one contenders on every brand, but like, why? Let, let's just have Sasha Banks and Bianca, and I hope they. I want Nia Jax and Shayna to win just because we've done it too, too many times where we put the tag belts and the women's championship on the same team and it just ruined relevancy for one of the belts. Mm. I I think that Nia and, and Shayna are going to retain. Um, I think it's just a way to get Banks and Bianca on a pay-per-view before Mania because they can't have them feud before Mania um, against each other and I think near the end of the match, Sasha and Bianca are going to be fighting and can't get along, and that's what's going to make them lose. It might start the feud shenanigans. Yeah. And this one I'm looking forward to. This should uh, be pretty good. You got a big Bobby Lashley against uh, Keith Lee against uh, what I like to call the pothead, <laughs> Matt Riddle. Uh, this one here, I, I used to be not a big fan of him, but uh, the pothead has warmed up to me a lot more and more and more. You, He's, uh, you're taking my guy. <laughs> Uh, I don't think Bobby Lashley will take the pin. I got a feeling it's going to be one of those uh, either Keith Lee hits Bobby Lashley with a move, then Matt Riddle hits. It's going to be multiple finishers, and I think Riddle's going to get the win on this one. I agree. I think uh, Matt Riddle's going to hopefully win that belt and push Bobby Lashley maybe into the championship pitcher. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then next. Oh boy. They still haven't changed this on uh, WWE.com. Those of you guys who've been following, Lacey Evans is pregnant, and we know it's not. But storyline, she's pregnant from Ric Flair, I think. Yeah. I don't think that's for real. Good for you, 75-year-old man. Yeah, he's still rocking it. <laughs> and uh, so, therefore, I think we should try to predict who the replacement is going to be. Ah, uh, see, this is... I think maybe... Peyton Royce because it's Lacey Evans partner um, but that would suck for Peyton Royce because she would be then put to the end because Oscar would retain it could be Charlotte Flair and she might win the belt over Oscar to put some relevancy back on that raw championship it's, it's not Asuka's fault though they just give no. her nobody and that's where I feel this is a throwaway match and I kind of Throwaway match to set future stuff where distractions, shenanigans. I'm gonna think uh, I'd like to see either Bliss or Charlotte come in, but I think they're gonna save that for bigger, like Mania or something. I don't know. So I think, like you said, it's gonna be Peyton Royce and 
Asuka's gonna retain. Retain. I have no. She's gonna retain for sure. I got. I'm hoping it kind of sets stuff for the future to make it interesting because I'm not really interested in this match. I don't <laughs> care very much. So and then the final one, which uh, we're not sure for the order of this one. Uh, can get you what you. So I think that. Um, could be the match could be earlier or? yeah i'm thinking this match is going to be earlier in the night it could be the first match because roman reigns uh then will face whoever wins this well, match as much as we got in there so we, got, we uh, have cesaro the swiss superman we yeah. have daniel bryan kevin owens jay uso the king and of course the sammy king, the Zane. Canadian castro, <laughs> the sammy Canadian Zane. castro so Honestly, I would like to see Kevin Owens win this and face Roman Reigns and beat the hell out of him, but I know that's not going to happen. <laughs> so it's either going to be, I think, Daniel Bryan or Cesaro to win. So Daniel Bryan would be nice, uh, but I th Cesaro, he's, I've always loved Cesaro for a long, long time. I, I'm rooting for him. This is finally going to get his little break because... Uh, you think this match is going to be at the beginning of the night? Yeah. I think this is going to be the before last match. I think Cesaro, he's going to put on one hell of a show. He's going to beat them all, and then he's going to be half in the bag. And then I, what I feel is going to happen next is, okay, he's going to be ready to fight Roman Reigns. Roman Reigns comes out, and Edge is going to spear Roman Reigns just because he got speared by Roman Reigns last Friday. And then you're going to get that, whoa, Cesaro might actually win. But unfortunately, uh, Roman Reigns will end up winning Cesaro. And yeah. Roman, so. Yeah. So it, it eventually this all plays out to Roman Reigns retaining the belt. And going against Edge and yeah. Mania, I believe. But uh, anything else to say? I don't think so. I think that's about it for our predictions for a short elimination yeah. chamber card. So it's hoping to see a women's elimination chamber, but the women aren't doing very very good in tonight matches. None of them are really hyped up for, unfortunately. Yeah, they keep just shoving them under the rug normally they have a, a good chamber match and hopefully next year they bring that back but mm -hmm. fingers crossed uh, anyhow uh, till next time hope you enjoyed the pay-per-view and remember to live everybody and cheers